So first change the point light in your scene or create a new light and change it to a spotlight in the properties menu. You'll need some geometry for the light to project onto as well. Switch your render engine to cycles. I also changed a few settings in my scene viewport samples to speed up the live render. I turned off the noise threshold, set samples to something very low like 12, turned denoise on, switched to optics, albedo and normal. First, switch to render view so you can see how the light is working in your scene. Jump into your world settings and put the strength down to zero. Now open the shader editor, make sure your active light is selected, then click on use nodes. This allows you to use the shader editor for lights as well as materials. Next create a noise texture, a mapping node and a texture coordinates node. Alternatively, you can use the shortcut key Ctrl T to create your mapping node and your coordinates node. Keep in mind this shortcut only works if you have node wrangler switched on. Next connect the normal output to the mapping vector input then the vector output into the noise vector input. Connect the noise factor into the emission strength. Alternatively, you can use the UV output from the texture coordinates. It gives a slightly different result, just use whichever one works best in your scene. In your light settings, if you bring up the radius of the light, you can blur your texture. If you bring it up too high, you won't be able to see your texture at all though. Lowering this number, however, will make your light mask clearer. Increasing the power of your light will make it brighter, which is pretty self-explanatory. Blend effects control how soft or hard the outline of the spotlight is. A higher number creates a softer outline, lower numbers make the outline appear harder. So how this technique works is it creates a mask using an image's dark and light values or luminance range. If you think of white being the value of 1 and black being the value of 0, anything that has a value above 0 will allow light to pass through it. The higher the value, the more light it will let through to a maximum of 1. So if we connect a ramp node after the noise texture, we can use its handles to control an image's dark and light values and therefore control how much light is allowed for our mask. Because this is a Blender procedural texture, we can change the noise properties to create different light effects. However, you can use any image texture with this technique. You're also not limited to just using this as a black and white mask. If your image has colour, you can plug it into the colour input in the mission and project an image's colour into your scene. You can also use this on its own or with your light mask as well for different effects. If you want to learn some more quick Blender tips, then check out my Blender Tutorials playlist linked in the description.